Some say he can swim seven lengths underwater, and he has webbed buttocks. <laughs> All we know is he's called the Stig. <laughs> OK, away he goes. Loads of wheel spin there. This is a simple car, so no traction control, of course. Just the precise programming of Stig's right hind leg. Down to the first corner, and oh dear, front wheel locking under braking. All very slithery, lots of tyre squeal, not a great start. Oh no! Almost on the grass straight away. And yet inside, all his Baroque classic car. A spot of Schubert's trout there. Come up to Chicago, looking more controlled here, steady. Not bad. Oh dear, the tail's gone very wide on the exit there. Hammerhead is next, locking up under braking. Again, Stig did say this car really needs better brake balance, and you can see it here. At least that very loose back end kills any chance of understeer. Very nice. Down to follow through now. This is where the Marcus's small block power should help it to make up some lost time with all that sideways stuff earlier. And yes, it's looking very fast. Very fast, past the tyre wall, two corners left, two corners of rampant oversteer, I suspect. Now he's wrestled it into shape through there, that is nice work, only Gambon left. Keeping it neat. Across the line, in! 128.2, which is pretty good because that means it's actually faster than a Dodge Viper, so it's better than what the Americans can do when they get hold of an American engine. <laughs>